And here, I guess the first thing that I want to address personally is the buy rate. That, that's like a lot of uh, that's like a lot of WrestleMania 19. Whenever people point to why WrestleMania 19 is not on par with some other great WrestleManias, they look at the buy rate. That's usually one of the first things brought up. I mean, WrestleMania 27 did 1.59 million buys, and yeah, that was on the the height of or the back of Rock's return and whatever. WrestleMania 21 not looked at as a top 10 WrestleMania, maybe a top 10, not looked at as like a top five WrestleMania, did like 1.85 million buys. WrestleMania 23, that's another WrestleMania which is not looked at as a top 10 WrestleMania of all time. That did 1.2 million buys. And that had Trump involved. So yeah, nevertheless, in terms of buy rate, WrestleMania 17 did 1.4 million buys. WrestleMania 19 did 560,000 buys. That year's Royal Rumble, 2003 Royal Rumble did like 590 for context. And why, why I think, is that? Why? Um, why is that? Why did that happen? So here's the main reason why this happened, I, I think. WrestleMania 19, the sole promotion of this show was built around Vince McMahon versus Hulk Hogan. And not out of ego, not because Vince and Hulk Hogan were like, no, we're, we're going to be the main thing. We're the number one part of this show. No, it wasn't that. For one, Triple H was relegated to a replacement match with Booker T because Scott Steiner was just... WWE got sold a bag of goods, of false goods, and Scott Steiner wasn't able to participate at WrestleMania. So that was one big match gone. Stone Cold was literally... He literally walked out of WWE like seven months prior. So they didn't even know if he was actually going to wrestle The Rock. Then on top of that, he almost had a heart attack the night before. So they they couldn't even main event. And they weren't promoted that much because, like I said, they didn't know. There was so much uncertainty where, like, if people could physically wrestle, he was even going to be there, if he was going to walk out. They didn't know. So they didn't put any promotion behind Austin Rock, any promotion behind Triple H's match. There was no promotion behind Kurt Angle and Brock because Kurt Angle had a broken neck. And Kurt Angle, he almost dropped the belt the week prior on SmackDown to Chris Benoit. And Brock was going to wrestle Chris Benoit in, like, a replacement match. And Kurt Angle was going to have neck surgery. So by default, they had to promote Vince and Hogan because that was the only match where both guys were able to be there every week to build up the show. And people were looking at this like, we don't care about Vince and Hogan. Like, why is Vince and Hogan getting all the promotion? Like, we don't, we don't give a shit. Like, it was just looked at like this WrestleMania was looked at like, I don't need to see it. It's skippable. Mm. You know, so it was like, it was one of those things where the day of, it was like, wow. After watching it, the people that watched it were like, wow, this is a great show. And then the years and the months and following the show, it became one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time because it was better than most people expected. <coughs> Got it. And on top of that, Got Undertaker yeah. was uh, Undertaker was teaming with your boy Nathan Jones to wrestle A Train and Big Show. So Undertaker didn't even have a big match either on this. Show. That that's a great point. That's a great. I uh, yeah. 100%, 100%. And now, like, I think, I mean, the builds for these shows, as you allude to, they're very different. Um, I look at WrestleMania 17 by comparison, Kevin. They were in one of the hottest stretches of pay-per-views ever. The 2001 Royal Rumble, many people view that as the greatest Rumble event ever. Just a phenomenal show, all the star power in the world, great booking, all around a very fun show to watch. No Way Out 2001. I'd argue the best February pay-per-view ever. Just a phenomenal show, top to bottom. Just a great thing. Like Austin, Triple H, and all that sort of stuff. Great stuff. And then you transition to WrestleMania 17. WCW has just been bored on the go-home show. You have Vince McMahon. That's just a part of the Vince story. Like, so much was happening. This was a, like a raging climax into WrestleMania 17. It was just... All momentum, all guns blazing heading into this show. And as you say, the buy rates reflected it. This one, I mean, the, the official number on Wikipedia and generally was 1.04 million buys, which comparatively to WrestleMania 19 and their 560,000 North American buys, which I think that number would have been a bit more when you factor in international. It's probably around 700,000, but comparatively, it is a big difference. But the momentum between the two shows is going in with the build is hard to compare. It's, it's one nine day.